The Alice PDX Portable Diagnostic Recorder is an easy to use device that enables you to perform a sleep study comfortably in the privacy of your own home. The data collected by the device helps your doctor determine if you have a sleep breathing disorder and what treatment may be appropriate. Allow five to 10 minutes before bedtime to assemble the device. For the best results, apply the device directly before bedtime. Wear it throughout your sleep until you get out of bed and start your day. Depending on how your provider configured the system, the components may include the Alice PDX device, holder, and lanyard, which may have the blue chest effort belt attached, the abdominal belt, and the wire set that goes with it, which already may be connected. A thermal airflow sensor, which monitors airflow from your nose or mouth. A nasal cannula, which also evaluates breathing and determines if you snore. And an SpO2 sensor, to measure your oxygen level while you sleep. One of these three sensors will be included in your study. A user guide, reference card, and DVD also may be included. There are various symbols on the Alice PDX device. A battery status, a memory card status, the good study indicator, and the connection indicators. The battery symbol indicates available power. It should be full when you receive the device from your provider. If the battery indicator is flashing, replace the batteries. Refer to your manual or contact your provider for appropriate instructions. The memory card symbol will flash when the card is nearly full. If this happens, call your provider. The good study indicator circle should be empty, which means it is ready to collect the data from your study. If the circle is not empty within 10 minutes after turning on the device, contact your provider. Let's first review how to remove the Alice PDX from its holster, should you need to do this during the study. Have the front of the device facing you. With your opposite hand, place your thumb on the lower corner of the holster where the effort belt is. Gently press down with your thumb until the holster snaps loose and the device is able to be removed. To place it back in the holder, snap both sides securely in place. Let's begin assembling the device. For reference, you can also refer to the sequence of instructions on the color-coded diagram located in the device case. First, check to see if the blue chest effort belt is already in place. If it isn't, slide it through the slots in the holder, going from front to back. Place the lanyard over your head and around your neck. Squeeze the two ends in the back of the lanyard to adjust the length. Adjust the chest belt so that the holder is placed in the upper chest area. With the holder in position, bring the rest of the chest belt to the front and snap the two belt ends together. Next, wrap the blue abdomen belt around your stomach. Connect the two belt ends together so they are directly over or slightly below your navel. Make sure the two belts are not loose enough to rotate around your body. If either belt is loose, adjust the slack. Place the Alice PDX device into the holder so that the large round button on the front faces out, away from your chest. Make sure that the holder tabs on both sides of the device have snapped into place. Now, holding the front of the device, slide the top latch so it opens the front of the device. You will see the color-coded display inside. Now, turn on the power button, which is located inside. Press the button one time. While the device is warming up, circular icons should be moving across the bottom of the screen. The device display will flash to indicate which sensors need to be connected for your study. Some of the following steps showing how to connect certain sensors may not be applicable for your particular sleep study. However, they all will be reviewed in this program. Insert the two ends of the abdominal belt wires into the ports on the abdominal belt. Then, insert the blue connector into the lower blue port on the device. As each sensor is connected, the corresponding display will stop blinking to indicate that you have made the connection correctly. Now, connect the two ends of the chest belt wires into the ports on the chest belt. Insert that blue connector into the upper blue port of the device. Next. Apply the nasal cannula by placing the prongs of the cannula in your nose. Position the cannula wire over your ears 
and then secure it comfortably under your chin. Attach the end of the cannula to the port located near the gray color coating on the device. Insert the connector in the port by twisting it until it is securely in place. Position the thermal airflow sensor on your lip and below your nose. Place the wires from the sensor over your ears and secure it comfortably under your chin. Bend and position the wire so it is above your lip but not in your mouth. Apply a piece of medical tape to your cheeks over the wire to help keep them in place while you sleep. Plug the connector into the port located near the purple color coating. Depending on the type of study being done, your provider may not have included this specific component. Now it is time to attach the SpO2 sensor to your index finger. Your provider may have included one of three types of sensors, a clip-on style, a soft sensor, and a wrap style sensor. First, we will review the clip style sensor. Hold the end of the sensor and squeeze it open so you can insert your finger. For the soft sensor, lightly squeeze the sides open so you can insert your finger. If you have a wrap style sensor, grasp the blue tab on the tape and peel back the paper just enough to expose the cutout portions. Position the black sensor into the cutout section on the adhesive side. Press the back side of the sensors firmly into the tape. Place the tip of your index finger over the lower portion of the sensor. Fold the upper portion of the adhesive material over your finger. Refer to the drawing to make sure your finger is properly positioned. Remove the rest of the adhesive backing and fold the wings of the tape over the side of your finger. Wrap the rest of the tape around your finger. After applying your sensor, make a fist and apply a piece of medical tape over the wire on the top of your hand. Position the sensor wire up your arm and apply another piece of tape on your forearm. If your provider has not already connected the finger sensor cable to the device, connect it now. Firmly guide the end of the cable to the port near the black color code on the Alice PDX device. If you are unable to do this, seek assistance or contact your provider. Tuck the excess wire of the extension cable behind the blue effort belt. The sensor display should stop flashing after about six seconds. If your provider included a limb movement sensor for your study, you should apply it now. Apply the sensor by wrapping the cloth fabric around your wrist and inserting the strap through the black plastic clip. Wrap the rest of the strap around your wrist. Secure the wire with a piece of tape applied on your forearm. Next, insert the yellow connector into the yellow color-coded port on the side of the PDX device. The device is now assembled. The light on the top of the device will turn from yellow to green to indicate the sensors are correctly attached. After a few seconds, the green light will turn off. Before lying down for sleep, press the button on the front once. You may now go to sleep. If you get up for any reason during the night, press the same button again once. If a sensor connector becomes detached during the night, a yellow light located near the open close latch will flash. Open the device and you will see the corresponding connection indicator on the display flashing to indicate which sensor is loose. It is important to reconnect the loose wire. Once connected, the flashing will stop. Close the device. Make sure to press the front button once. In the morning, after awakening, press the button on the front once. Now open the device and write down the results of the good study indicator. Write down how many sections, none, one, two, three, or four, are filled in. You will need to give this information to your provider. Turn off the device. Press the power button and hold it for about three seconds until the display goes blank. 
close the device. You can now remove all the sensors and the device and return the equipment according to your provider's instructions.